Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I hope this is the last time that I don't have to do anything in between episodes so I could start off in the same place as the previous episode because I want this whole I wanted this whole playthrough to be a just like a, a straight path instead of what we had to do in the past two episodes where I just couldn't beat the encounter over and over and over and over it was ridiculous and finally I managed to find a decent enough strategy with my group and uh, the spells that we have access to stuff like that uh, so I don't have to jump around I, I, I really like a nice organic flow to playthroughs when I watch them so I'd like to try to do it like that as well but I just I couldn't do it so again apologize for the last two episodes and, but I had, I had said this repeatedly, nonstop throughout the entire playthrough. I need to organize my bags, etc. And I did just that. And I did several things. I organized my bags. I sold a bunch of stuff that we had that I wanted to keep because it had special names. You'll see we're over 100,000 gold again. Uh, you know, I went through and I sold a bunch of items that... I did look up to see if I would could upgrade them before I sold them, and I couldn't, or at least I couldn't find it. But that frees up a bunch of room in my bags because both of these were full, and I was having a real hard time with my inventory, the old inventory boss. But these are the remaining potions I had left over that could not fit in my potion bag. And then I consolidated all of my potions. So I don't have two or three different stacks of fire resistance, heroism, stuff like that. So that's what we gonna do. And then now, um, I came in here to do what upgrades that we could. And I have decided I am gonna do Watcher's Keep before I get to throw in a ball. Because that Chosen of Syrac fight... I mean, everyone doesn't even have level 9 spells yet. I mean, she's got the spells, but she doesn't have any spell slots. So, we're going to do that. But first, Fine. let's get some upgrades done. Do we have anything you could forge into an item? We can't do the Flail of Ages just yet. Aha! So we can take one of our Rogue Stones and 10,000 gold and upgrade one of our... One of our ammo pouch, not ammo pouch, but the bags of plenty. Gives us unlimited plus two arrows. So all my plus two arrows can come out. And we could actually sell those. Next. Book of Protection. We still don't have an approved haste scroll. I really did consider just getting a scroll out of uh, the console command, but I don't want to do that. I only used that in Baldur's Gate 1 so we could get our quest items back that are left on the ground and travel away like an idiot. There's our golem manual, but we don't have any more pages to it. These bracers are for a paladin for 10,000 gold. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I don't think I want to use them over the Thaco gloves, but we'll see what we get. 
Blessed Bracers, we get plus 10 hit points and then cure critical wounds. Once per day, heals 27 hit points on one creature, and you get resurrection out of it. Alright. A case of plenty? Oh yeah, upgrade that. And we get plus two bolts for Emelyn. Actually, you know what? Fire tooth fires a plus four, doesn't it? I'm not quite sure how the arrows and the the other ones work. I'm I'm not knowledgeable enough about the game. But we'll see what it put our puts our Thacko to if we equip that on Emmawin while she's wielding the while she's wielding the uh, fire tooth. Okay, those are the Kuatoa bolts. Those are the stunning bolts. Man. Oh, there you go. Seven Thacko, and we put that on there. It goes to five. When no bolts are equipped, they are treated as plus four for the purpose of determining what enemies they can damage. The missiles receive a plus six to hit, including the bonuses listed below. So it's plus four, and then 1d8 plus four. I don't know, maybe that is better. Maybe put the Kutoa bolts on. So it's four, just plus four. Plus it stuns. All right, I mean, all right. I mean, you can't even equip that. What are you doing? No one can equip this? Really? Why? I mean, Herod Elise can, but he's not going to do it. Oh, man, we may have to sell that. I didn't notice that. Now I remember why traveling yes, with you was always it so will much be fun. Done. Shut up, everyone. Yeah, here we go. This is our equalizer. Sounds good, let's do it. Because we had the pommel, the hilt, and the blade. Truth be told, I'm not sure we'll use it. But you never know. To wear on my nerves. So the equalizer, immunity to charm and confusion, strikes as a plus three versus true neutral. And luckily we could see what creatures are what. In the base game, you can't see what alignments there are. So this is just so incredibly helpful. Because so, if we look at Cromwell, we can see he's a lawful neutral. Come down here, lawful neutral, it's a plus one to hit, and then 1d8 plus two. So that's not great. But if he were anything other than anything like in the you got neutral, you have chaotic, lawful neutral, good neutral, neutral evil, you get the idea. So I'm not a big fan of the sword, but yeah. All right, what else can we get? Flail, the cloak, golem manual. Halberd, which we still don't haven't found the blade yet. That's everything. Very well. So let's go sell these Indeed. bolts. Now you know what? I 
think we're done with the shadow thieves. I might... I really want to go kill Mavar and take his boots. Is that anyone? No, it's Harry Reese. Because we have one, two, three. We have three paws with the cheetah. But everyone's got shadow boots, which does... Oh, wait, who's got boots? Okay, she's got the boots that increase movement rate a little bit. But... Yep. Gotcha. If oh. you insist. It's, it's way too much thinking. Yeah, you see, I, I dropped a bunch of stuff that we're not going to use. Simple enough. Let me see what you got. And since I cannot use the blind strike bow on anyone. We'll sell it. And Emwyn. Oh, yeah. Also, of uh, all of our wands, every single wand, I did the, I did the, uh, sell it and steal it back maneuver. No shame. Not anymore. Not after that encounter with Cyric. They get such an advantage, I'm going to take an advantage too. So get rid of all these. Almost all of them. I didn't do it in the Wanda Monster or something. I'm not going to be using 37 charges of that. And we are going to look for scrolls. Useful scrolls. Okay. Nothing I want out of there. And then let's take a look at her special inventory. Just to make sure there's nothing I want. And to make sure she didn't add anything. I'm not seeing anything different here. I mean, this is a neat one, but... Yeah, eh, we'll skip it. Actually, we'll... I will take all these potions of agility, actually. Potions of clarity. Take all these mind focusing as well. What is your it will be done? Very well. Indeed. What? Look how fast he is. Look at that. If you insist. <sighs> Very well. This sparrow is good to go. Faster than Chick Tika fast. Simple pause. enough. I will do what I can. Mm. Right you are. 
fine. Sorry, brother. Yes, Nothing I'll personal. All right, all right. In Bervan's name. It Nothing shall be done. personal. I am I Raven. But after the Chosen of Syric encounter and the, as I said earlier, however I can. after that encounter and seeing just how blatantly, just how blatant of an advantage they got, we good. We good on doing a few things that are not, uh, Emelyn, what, what you are you thinking? Where I'm not too worried about following some roleplay rules too much. Alright, so here's our paws of the cheetah. We'll take this just to sell it. And these to sell it. This is the note that we gave to him. That was proof of the guy's uh, treachery, whatever his name was. And one of these for each of the women. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four paws of the cheetah. Yeah. It will be done. Excuse us, gentlemen. I will leave you to your shadow thieves business. Apologies, but not really. Very well. Oh, Marina, I can't shop with you anymore. That's You sucks. must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. But we'll we'll call it square for how often they use me. We'll call it square. Indeed. All right, so off to Watcher's Keep. Yeah, just. Looking around to make sure there's nothing else. Let's go to the slums if real quick. You insist. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Simple enough. We're gonna sell. Uh, some items just so we have more bag space. The fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Oops. You. I got some cheap beer for ya. That can all go. So here's the sword that made our head. Increased backstab multiplier by one and provides an additional two Thacko bones. Not bad. Watch his keep. It will be done.
So let's refresh stone skins. We'll get a rest in there. How can I help? Because we can't be interrupted in this Very area. Very well. And do you have any potions that I want before I go in? Oh, or scrolls. Scrolls. We'll take Detect Invisibility. Indeed. In we go. If you insist. So, if anyone's just joining, we already did the entirety of the first level. We did that earlier. And now... We are heading down to level two. More suicidal fanatics willing to die in the service of hell, I see. Or have you been forced into service, as I once was a millennium ago? Are you the imprisoned one? I am imprisoned, but I am not the imprisoned one. Obviously, you are not you're not one of those fanatical knights of the vigil, or you would have already known that. <laughs> Sounds like you have been tricked into doing Helm's dirty work. Looks like we are both unwilling participants in this little drama. All lies. Stand aside and let me descend to face the imprisoned one. Listen. We can help each other. The fact of the matter is, you cannot get through the gate to the next level unless I open it for you. So I'm not going to let you through the gate unless you help me end the enchantment that has kept me bound in this infernal dungeon for the last thousand years. Do we have a deal? What must be done? Glad you decided to be reasonable. The Hellmites were never reasonable. It is so much easier to deal with one who is fanatic. What kind of stoic mind do you have to have to be trapped in this tiny Cage. I mean, and literally in in solitary confinement, basically, for a thousand years, and you'd be able to have a rational, reasonable conversation. You have to have a very stoic mind, a mental fortitude unheard of. This cage I'm stuck in was fashioned over a thousand years ago by four archmages. 
bind the power of the four diverse elements to imprison me here for all eternity. And how can I get you out? The wizards who trapped me here each had a lab on this level of the dungeon. They worked to a fashion they worked to fashion the enchantments of my cage. Each wizard created a scepter to focus and channel his power. Only the combined power of the four scepters can unlock my cage. Okay, I'll find all the scepters and what next? Gather the scepter keys and place them in the four slots around the cage. Once free, I'll be on my way. And you can go through the gate and take on the imprisoned one. If you still want to. This chromatic demon is... I I'm fairly familiar with Watcher's Gate. He he's a level 28 Tamari. And as you can see, he switches in different forms. And each one of these forms has a different type of element that he's weak to. Or susceptible to. So if we pause... I don't know if this... I've never been I've I have never been here with this overlay, so I don't know if it changes. But I do know the fight. Fairly well. I know the gist of the fight. So when he goes into like this, I believe this is the fire version of him, so you would have to use coal. Or something of that nature. And then whenever he swaps to his next one. There's air. I didn't see if this changed. Let's see if, let's see if these resistances change. Yep, they did. They did. Because the cold was at 100, now it's at 127. So you get the idea. So that's going to be the tricky part of how this fight's going to work. Speak. Simple enough. Here's the ice form. Yep, cold went up to 127. Okay. And right here is where the kneecapper would have worked, and I sold it. Go me. But give me a task. It's all you know what? Hang on. What are your Saves are pretty good. Well, let's see if Emily could actually get some stuns off. Hmm. Aye, a fair gambit. So these guys are going to hit hard, so we're going to put our... 20% resistance to physical damage. You know what? You know what? Let's try Let's play around with something here. Let's try this out. Where's that shirt? You've already got the crushing belt. Alright, so he's going to go down to, to 8 on his armor class. But his resistance is only 35. But let's pop a armor of faith. The least you have complete for Oblivion. I'll do my best. No problem at all. Give Animin. What is it now? Did you... Oh, we moved. 
All right, so armor of faith and give him defense of harmony. I shall go forth at your command. Now what is he at? All right, so he's at 60% physical resistance. So let's see how this works. Out. So he's taking fire damage. Oof. Six resisted, that's not great. Oh, that's just not great. Oh, you can't even swap it out. <laughs> well, we're running with this game plan now. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. Let's go ahead and give him regeneration. You gentlemen go up there and help him out. That's what we get for trying to play around. It will be done. Okay. All right. Fine. We deserve that. <laughs> We deserve that. I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what this damage mitigation was like. Let's More get through this. Suicidal fanatics willing to die in the service of him. <laughs> Some list, so I'm glad you decided to be reasonable. The hell gather the scepter keys okay. and place them in the four slots around the cave. That's that's actually kind of disappointing, man. My way, and you can go through the gate and take I mean, we were getting hit really life. hard. If you still want to. <laughs> yeah, that's that's disappointing. It will be done. So, and when put your bolts on, and these the save versus. So let's buff it up a little bit. How can I help? Did I really take Simulacrum out? Oh, that's right, because I wanted triple Abidazim's Horde Wilting. I forgot to change over my spells. We'll do it. We'll roll with what we got. Um, Alright. Alec, let's get some of those potions of agility. of armor of faiths which really just don't do anything right <laughs> this sparrow is ready to fly maybe we could play around with some different swords just to say that we did it Silencing these don't mean anything, so we won't use that. That's the spell failure.
any other swords? I just want to use some weapons. I, I have this itch to use items I haven't been using because after going through them and separating everything and selling things that I wasn't going to use, I, I, I got the itch to play with with other uh, items. Hence, hence why I did what I did before we got killed. God. No? All right. Sorry. And we'll pop a bless as well. Then we'll kill these giants and then we'll move on to the next episode since we're getting close to time. Very well. What is it now? Jesus. Good lord. Even with all that. You really got interrupted. If you insist. He actually got interrupted. Jesus. All right, so moral of the story, do not underestimate the fire giants. Can you? You cannot be stunned. What's your magic resistance? Virtually nothing. feeble-mindedness on him. Uh, I just don't really have many damaging spells, do I? I'm gonna hang on to this vitriolic spear. Eh, just attack him. Screw it. What is your fire resistance? It is Garbo. This ring plus two is doing you no favors either. Save you asshole. Alright, 115 fires. We won't talk about what happened. We won't.
Well. Enough. Oh, nobody move. Nobody move. Good to go. I will do faster than Chick Tika fast pause. Very well. Right, you are. Okay. Well, humbled. <laughs> Don't underestimate fire giants. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, we'll go ahead and end it here since we're right at time, and we'll pick it right up in the next one. Uh, so thank you guys very much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Very much appreciate it. And as always, if you have any comments, suggestions, tips, stories, let me know in the comment section below, and I hope to see you on the next one.